Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the second session of Speakers Corner here today at the uh, LCT Kleenex uh, exhibition. Uh, it's my pleasure to introduce the Chief Executive of Dane Real Service, Paul Higgs, to talk about maintaining your assets. Um, just to say a little bit about myself, I'm Paul Higgs of Dame Realstar. Uh, I've worked in the industry for 50 years this year, uh, having started as an apprentice service engineer for a company that many of you will never have heard, and that's Neil and Spencer, who at one time were the world's largest manufacturers of laundry and dry cleaning equipment produced in the UK. I'm here to talk to you about maintaining your assets and uh, it's a presentation that to care for your assets you spend and invest a lot of money in new equipment in your premises. Uh, servicing is essential to keep your machinery operating efficiently and to reduce the risk of breakdown causing loss of production and loss of income. This is the equipment that makes you the profit to buy the lifestyle that you desire and to give your customers the service and the quality they demand. The modern, equipment, the modern unit is equipped with a whole range of equipment that need your attention to keep them operating efficiently and there's some here. Although I have featured some of the machines in our range, at this stage, as the BBC always states, there are other brands available. The dry cleaning machine needs simple housekeeping that can be carried out by the operator. These are some of the items that must be looked after. I am about to show you some photographs that may offend you, but uh, I'm sure that uh, you won't be too shocked at something such as this dust screen that was uh, photographed on the machine. The cleaning and dustering every load is essential to give you good airflow and to keep the machine operating correctly and to not put any stress and strain on the refrigeration system. A blocked dust screen will reduce the airflow leading to poor drying and potentially blocked heater coil, uh, cooling coils. The operator of this particular machine thought he could clean 27 loads without affecting the airflow. There still is the other important area on the, on the uh, dry cleaning machine. And as you know, without good distillation, you don't get good quality of cleaning because the solvent won't be as pure as you require it to be. A clean still will transfer the heat to the solvent quicker, reducing distillation time and the energy consumption, and will give you good quality solvent on the return. It is important, after cleaning with something of an inhibitor, a scotch guard or flame proofing, uh, to make sure the still is cleaned again because this would basically carbonise on the base of the still and give you poor distillation. And when cleaning the still, always make sure that you don't just open the door, give it a quick break out and because it's a messy job and you're not too uh, keen on doing it, but time spent on cleaning the still, making sure the base is really clean, the sides, the float switch inside if it's a safety device, the glass, uh, and make sure that you are giving it a thorough clean because it will punish you if you get a problem later in the, in the processing time. Water separators are always another issue. Uh, because again, it's a, a task that uh, 
people have to carry out on a weekly or a monthly basis. And if, uh, as you see from here, this has not been attended to, you get a build up on the interface where you get the growth of bacteria, you'll get poor separation, so you might get some water carryover, and uh, there again, your potential of bacteria within the separators will carry over into the solvent and harm or in, uh, inhibit the quality of cleaning that you'll carry out on the garments. The other area of separators is not just for perk machines, but it's for uh, hydrocarbon, green earth, K4. It is very, very important to make sure you maintain those separators because, again, they will punish you very, very quickly uh, with bacteria buildup. Bung trap cleaning again is only to carry out this good housekeeping, make sure the button trap is cleaned on a regular basis. <laughs> Poor drainage will uh, give you uh, swirl marks on the garments because it, the, 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 the solvent's not being drained quick enough. It would also strain the pump and on occasions it will overload the main drive motor. So keeping the button trap clean, as you can see this guy has cleaned it on a regular basis. Uh, I think it's from the same machine as he had done at 27 loads in. Uh, so make sure that the button trap is cleaned on a regular basis. Going back to poor airflow and dust screens, we were talking about the importance of cleaning the dust screen, but also to keep the dust screen in good order so you don't get any passing of uh, fluff or dust that will go back and go onto the fridge coils. And the modern dry cleaning machine is equipped with a refrigeration system that not only recovers the solvent whilst it's drying, but on many machines is used as a heat source during the drying cycle to improve the quality of the air flow, uh, uh, temperature of the air that's flowing to the drying. So it's essential that the system is kept operating to the maximum efficiency. And as you can see from the two uh, photographs here, one is a fridge collar that's uh, been blocked because the fluff has been allowed to get past, the dust screen's been passing, and then there's a, a photograph of the coil once it's been cleaned the energy that would be being taken out by the fridge would be much, much reduced because of the flood on the screen. The refrigeration system on any machine must be maintained to a leak-proof standard. And any work carried out on that system should only be carried out by engineers with the correct qualification in refrigeration. And a standard requirement now is that your refrigeration system should be checked on a yearly basis uh, with, and certificated by your service company. It is your responsibility to take care of that refrigeration system. Regular cleaning of the dust screens and keeping the screen in good order will prevent this from happening. With the dry cleaning machine it is important to have them regularly serviced and have them regularly serviced by an engineer that is competent and also carries the spares for your particular product. It will keep it in good working order, therefore reducing the risk of breakdown and keeping your machine earning you money. As you can see from the features here, this is the sort of area that the, the service should be checked. Make sure that the seals are in good order, the soap doser is working correctly, the filtration is looked at on a regular basis. Again, these are cartridge filters out of a uh, hydrocarbon machine, and we were called basically because the bacteria built up dramatically within the, in the cartridge filter.
the dry cleaning machine is an important part of the unit, but there are many other uh, pieces of equipment that you should be paying attention to. And one of them is the boiler. And although the modern unit either has a standalone boiler or a self-contained in a press or an ironing table, the operation of blowing down the boiler is extremely important. You should blow the boiler down at the end of the day or at the start of the day, which, whichever is your preference. This is essential to present, prevent scale and the build-up, if you, especially if you're in a hard water area. And as I can show you here, it reduces the scale, prevents the elements from overheating and a costly replacement of, of, of elements. And that will allow the boiler to work more efficiently. So you're saving the, again, you're saving energy. A subject that may be covered later, but uh, under the Pressure System Safety Regulation Act of 2000, all boilers require an inspection by a chartered engineer to certify the boiler is in a fit use. This also gives you the opportunity to have the boiler serviced and keep it running efficiently. Boiler inspection, although uh, many don't actually have it undertaken in, in this industry, it is something that as an industry we should be trying to make sure that uh, it's pressed forward, not only for the safety of your staff but also for the insurance of the product. Finishing equipment, many uh, units have uh, uh, presses, ironing tables, cabinets, so there's a whole variety of uh, just general points that I would make on finishing equipment. <coughs> presses, ironing tables, you can see from here the cover, uh, the state of the cover here, it means that the expectations of the operator are not very high. Uh, changing covers when they're damaged or dirty will improve and give you a good finish and give a better quality to what you're offering your customer. Also, at the same time, keep on, an eye on iron hoses, flexes, uh, because of electric shock, as you know, electric shock can kill. A spotting table. It's beautiful, I mean, put a nice white silk blouse on the spotting table, that's what's living underneath some spotting tables. So on a regular basis, you should take your spotting table apart uh, because when you have a blockage within the working surface, it, it, it uh, gives you poor vacuum and also that, that grime uh, could be, uh, come through and get onto any garments you're, you're getting on stain removal. So remove the top, give it a very good clean underneath, and it will uh, enhance the quality of your spotting table finish. <coughs> General maintenance. Always make sure that you're looking around your equipment for leaks, damage to seals, damage to any of the hoses you're using because these are a, a, an area that uh, will cost you money and save and, and, and uh, increase your energy usage. Excess, excessive dust buildup again can reduce the airflow, airflow to the motors causing motors to overheat and eventually a failure of the motors. Uh, so I've shown you a picture here again of a, a vacuum fan on a press. Now look at the quality of the, the dry cleaner that must be operating that, how grimy that is. And we're in a dry cleaning industry. Safety, something that is uh, really taken as red and people don't check their safety guards on a regular weekly basis. They wait until something happens. And the machinery used in our industry is potentially dangerous with locks on the still door, 
locks on the main door, the steel door could fail, door could burst open, hot solvent over you and also over the floor, over the operator. So again, always just check your safety devices. Safety devices on the automatic presses, on the uh, collar cuff presses, on the shirt finishers, the shirt units that are going in now. So just take five minutes to check the safety of your equipment. So regular servicing is something really that, uh, as you state here, it saves you money, uses a, uh, use an accredited company, and they will enhance and give you all of these items here. So servicing your machinery is not always a priority, but when it breaks down, your production is disrupted, and you may not be able to meet your delivery times. Many faults that occur are avoidable. And when carrying out some of the points that I have mentioned today, also take time to train the operators on the use of the equipment. Because on many units we go to, the operator says, I've never been trained on this equipment. It's assumed they know what they're doing. And when having your machine service, use accredited service companies. They will know the product and have the ability to give the machine, uh, get the machine going on the first visit now, this is very important because they may carry the correct spares, they have the knowledge, whereas if you're using somebody that isn't conversant with that piece of equipment, uh, they will have uh, uh, very costly revisits. So again, always look at the person you're using to look after your product. By taking into account uh, the information I've given you uh, today, it should make life easier, with less time, downtime and costly repair bills. It will also enable you to give your customers the service they expect. Thank you for your time today. I hope I've given you food for thought on how to keep your assets in good working order. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Paul.